Volvo Trucks Volvo has been safety testing its truck cab since the early 60s, introducing crash-tested cabs with standards set far stricter than those defined by the transport authorities at the time. There have been plenty of innovations from Volvo over the decades. Adaptive cruise control is among the most useful. To help the truck driver maintain safe distance as well as speed limit relative to the vehicle ahead, lane keeping and lane change support have been proven to be practically handy in keeping large commercial trucks in the lane. Every type of Volvo truck has been tested for rollover protection and front under run protection to reduce risk of injury to everyone on the truck and in the impacted passenger vehicle. Newer Volvo trucks come with dynamic steering with stability, assist technology too. They function to help the driver maintain proper control of the truck by counter-steering intervention. In a crash test using the FH truck model, Volvo demonstrated a worst-case scenario in which the driver fails to react to all the warnings given by the collision warning system. Volvo's emergency brake system immediately activates to first apply gentle braking assistance before engaging in the full-stop emergency braking mechanism. The Volvo FMX has been put through a torture weight drop test to simulate a likely real-world scenario on a construction site, where a large boulder is dropped right onto the bed of the truck. The test is to ensure the quality of gearbox and engine mounting in the FMX model, or rather to see where the braking point is. Using two tons of weight drop from varying heights of 0.5 meters to 3 meters, everything remains intact. Drop from 3.5 meters of height, the two-ton weight eventually cracks the truck's gearbox mounting. From that height, the G-force is equal to 214 tons at rest. DAF Trucks in a controlled testing scenario on the road, a DAF truck showcases its remarkable automatic braking system as it effectively engages when encountering a slowly moving object ahead. The truck running at a speed of around 80 km per hour comes to a full stop within just a few seconds. Forward collision warning activates first to alert the driver of risk of an accident. Then the advanced emergency braking system kicks in to avoid impact. Vehicle stability control comes standard in DAF trucks. The electronic safety system helps the driver maintain the vehicle under control during sudden maneuvers such as to avoid obstacles or unexpected turns. Vehicle stability control constantly monitors vehicle direction and steering input in case they don't match. The system will intervene by reducing engine power and applying brakes to the right wheels to prevent sliding and rollover. Additionally, the new Euro 6 XF and CF models from DAF are fitted with a new technology called Crash Kraken, which is a combination of reinforced cab structure and energy-absorbing cab suspension, designed to absorb impact and reduce the risk of injury to the driver in the event of a rear impact crash test. During a trailer back rear impact crash test where the cabin hits a fully loaded cargo of another truck at 25 km an hour, the crash crack it releases upon impact and slides backwards to help absorb impact and reduce risk of injury to the driver. Man Trucks The emergency brake assist system in Man Trucks is a comprehensive system that utilizes radar sensors and a windscreen mounted camera to detect and monitor speed, distance, and angle of objects in front of a truck. While still in safe distance, the system gives the driver multiple alerts to warn about the objects up ahead. In case the driver responds appropriately by applying brakes or switching lanes, the system will intervene no more. However, if the driver fails to react, the system will automatically initiate emergency braking to bring the truck to a full stop. The emergency brake assist is a standard feature on all manned trucks and cannot be switched off. It detects emergency braking situations, warns the driver, and initiates emergency braking if the driver fails to react. Additionally, to compensate for the blend spot on the co-driver's side of a long-haul truck, 
Man has fitted its fleet with two radar sensors to provide 180 degrees of detection at 30 kilometers per hour or slower. During a turn in a tight corner, the driver receives an alert when a pedestrian or cyclist is moving in the truck's path. The sensors do not automatically engage the truck's braking system, but the combination of visual and audible alerts can help the driver make the necessary speed adjustment or, if necessary, bring the truck to a full stop. Scania Trucks during a full-scale crash test performed at Bitburg Airport located in Germany, Scania Trucks demonstrates the possible impacts to the vehicle and potential injuries to the driver following a rollover accident. In this test, a Scania truck is subjected to a rollover accident at a speed of 50 miles per hour, simulating potential impacts on the vehicle and potential injuries to the driver. The truck makes a sharp turn, causing it to flip onto the driver's side. To prevent the driver from falling out, an inflatable curtain is swiftly deployed upon impact. With all this testing, Scania trucks are now equipped with an advanced emergency braking system, which utilizes cameras and radars to detect obstacles in front of the vehicle. In the case of an imminent collision, the system alerts the driver with an audible alarm. If the driver doesn't respond or applies insufficient braking force, the system intervenes to provide additional stopping force. During testing, Scania trucks are demonstrated at various speeds and on different road conditions, encountering both moving and stationary objects. The Advanced Emergency Braking System consistently ensures that the truck stops at the right moment to avoid collisions. In addition to rollover tests, Scania conducts pendulum impact tests to assess damage to the cabin, particularly focusing on the driver's side, roof side, and rear wall. Despite employing simulator rollovers, the automotive industry Scania emphasizes the importance of real-world rollover tests, subjecting every type of truck, including the Crew Cab Model 3 mostly used in emergency services to similar rigorous testing procedures. Mercedes-Benz Trucks Mercedes-Benz has developed several advanced safety features for their trucks, including the Active Brake Assist 4, which is the first emergency braking system designed to reduce the risk of accidents with pedestrians. The Side Guard Assist is the first assistance system available from the manufacturer that can effectively help drivers minimize the risk of crashing into pedestrians and cyclists in cornering situations. The new Mercedes-Benz Actros is the first production truck to be fitted with the semi-automated driving system called Active Drive Assist 5, which can automatically brake, accelerate, and steer the truck when the circumstances require the system to do so. The system utilizes the vehicle's camera and radar systems to evaluate lane markings and the position and velocity of other vehicles on the road. Active Drive Assist 5 works like an enhanced cruise control and comes with electrically assisted steering, proximity control with stop and go function to ensure safe distance with the vehicle in front, and lane keeping assist which alerts the driver in the event of unintentional lane switching. The electro hydraulic steering system is used for assisted maneuvering. The system can automatically brake, accelerate, and steer the truck when the circumstances require the system to do so. However, Mercedes-Benz warns that the semi-autopilot is not there to replace driver's control of the vehicle, it's there to provide some assistance, and the driver can override the system anytime necessary.